anywhere live I don't know anyway hello 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 it's me Christine it's Thursday at midday and I'm here to help to see about maybe making your day a little bit more peaceful a little bit more calm maybe even a little happier that'd be cool right yeah so um if you've never been here before or if you've been here lots of times i just want to say hi welcome i'm so happy you're here quick little note about myself my name is christine i am a holistic health coach a breathwork coach i teach yoga for all ages and stages of life and i am all about peace creating it sharing it loving it really <laughs> so um i show up here once a week on a thursday and i see if i can help you do that very thing create a little bit more peace for you for your present moment so as you may be able to tell it's just a few days away from Halloween. I don't know how you would have known. And so today's visit is dedicated to, inspired by the young ones among us and the young ones within us all. Because we all have that, don't we? I think so. So um, if you would join me, I would be so grateful. Like we do whenever we get together, we breathe three times and we breathe in and out through our noses and we send the breath into our belly area. So lots of times I use this and this is a Hoberman sphere and it's really cool because you can watch it and then it helps your body get the idea that we're trying to expand down in here, expand. And when the breath leaves you, when the air leaves you, then your belly gets smaller again. So you can watch that if you like, or because it is Halloween time, you can imagine that you're tracing a big imaginary pumpkin, pumpkin in your belly space, tracing it out wide, maybe with your arms and then down again as the breath leaves your body. So you get to decide how you're going to breathe, but I would be so happy if you would breathe with me. Would you give me a try, please? Thank you, thank you. Here we go. We sit, we have our bottom in our seat, nice and square and comfy, sturdy feeling, yeah. And we let our spine come up nice and tall. Spine is another word for your back, just in case. And here we go. We're going to inhale in and out, in, in, excuse me, breathe in, silly goose, through your nose. And then when we're done, the breathing, the air, the breath will come out of our nose again. Here we go. Inhaling. Let that belly fill up. Wow, did you even know you could fit that much breath in and let it go? Try it again with me. Two more, here we go. Maybe your shoulders go back as your belly gets bigger. And exhale, let that breath out. And maybe even your chin lifts as you inhale. Let's try one more. Inhale, bringing the breath into the body through the nose. And when you can't fit any more in, we exhale. That means breathe out. And let it all go. Maybe you already feel a little bit different than you did just a couple minutes ago. That would be cool, right? Yes, yes it would. So I'll um, let my buddy Hoberman Spear hang out here with me. So um, 
since I'm staying with my Halloween theme, I really love Halloween. Maybe you celebrate Halloween. That would be fun. Um, I would like to bring you three ideas inspired by Halloween itself. So the first one I would like to talk about is uh, I've nicknamed it the witch's broom. So don't be scared. She's a friendly witch. And we, we use our witch's broom when we feel yucky somehow. Or maybe we have feelings that we want to get rid of, right? Maybe there's something scary or sad or anything. Anything that you can feel it and you're like, I don't like this. I don't want to feel this anymore. So imagine, I love our imagination. It's so powerful and so helpful. Imagine that this part of your arm is the stick part of the broom. And imagine that these fingers are the bristly parts of the broom. And we have two of them. Most of us anyway have these two guys, right? So wiggle your bristles with me just for a moment. Wiggle them, right? So here we have two witches brooms. So we have, if we have feelings, I'm scared, I'm sad, I'm even angry, whatever it is, it's all right. All of us have feelings. And sometimes we just are done with them. So what's a great thing to do is we take our witch's broom and we sweep them away. So I'll show you. You can start at the top of your body or at the bottom of your body. These are brooms, remember, and we're sweeping. What are you sweeping away? Sweep it, sweep it away, sweep it all the way down. The legs are being swept. The belly is being swept. Both legs, both sides. You don't want to leave any yucky feelings behind. Sweep it away. Maybe one broom helps the other broom get to your back. Sweep it away. Sweep it. Sweep it out of your hair. Sweep it away. We don't need that feeling anymore. Sweep, sweep, sweep it away. And then sit still for a minute. Oh, I know I feel better. I really hope you do too. That can work. That can be very, very helpful. So that's my witch's broom idea for you for today. Um, another fun idea, maybe you'll like, inspired by my buddy, Mr. Bones here. I'll bring it closer maybe so you can see. See him? It's a skeleton. I just nicknamed him Mr. Bones. Sometimes, put him back. Hey buddy. Sometimes we have so much energy. Maybe you're so excited for Halloween. Maybe there'll be a parade at your school. Maybe you'll uh, bake some fun treats whatever maybe you just so love the whole thing with costumes and everything and you have so much energy you just plain don't know what to do with it all maybe the grown-ups in your life want you to be still and you just can't because there's just so much energy right been there i understand so just like our buddy mr bones here or inspired by him anyway let's rattle our bones so what we do is, you know, that you have bones inside of you just like these. Yeah. And so what we'll do is we'll shake them. We'll shake them and we'll help release some of that extra energy that we just can't seem to release on our own. So it's really fun and really silly looking. So let's be silly looking together. Okay. Let's rattle, rattle your bones. Rattle your bones. Maybe your feet pound up and down. Maybe you wiggle your head. Maybe you wiggle your shoulders. Wiggle it. Wiggle your bones. Rattle your bones. Woo, three, two, one. Ah. How about that? Wow. That was great because we used up some of that extra energy. Maybe we can sit still so that we can get buckled into our seat in the car. Or maybe now we can sit a little bit more still at supper 
or for going to school on the computer, whatever you're doing, maybe now you can be a little bit more still. Maybe. It's worth a try, right? And my last Halloween themed idea for you is using our finger spiders. These are not scary spiders. They don't bite. They're not yucky in any way at all, but they can really do us a big favor. Okay. So what we can do is we can sit still. I like that my palms are up. This part of my hand is up and I just rest it down on my legs. That's how I like for my finger spiders to be, but you always get to choose because they're your finger spiders, right? So how are you feeling? Hmm. Maybe you saw a really scary costume and it's just bothering you. It's, it's, it's scary and you don't want that anymore. You don't want to see that in your mind's eye. So you can use your finger spider friends and you can tap the legs of the spider. We're using our imagination and breathe and repeat a phrase, a few words that make you feel better like this. I am not scared. I am not scared. I am not scared. If you do it a few times, it doesn't happen magically immediately. You have to stay with it for a few breaths, a few rounds, but it looks like that. I am not scared. Another thing, if you, maybe you're not scared today, maybe you feel so great and you want to keep that great feeling for the whole day, for the whole week, for a long time, right? So one, one way that you can do that, same thing with our finger spiders, cause Halloween and we're having a good time with it. You can say nice and tall with your back sitting still and you can say, I feel so good. I feel so good. I feel so good. And you can remind yourself how awesome you really are because you are. I know for sure. I hope that these ideas help you. Another fun thing about breathing in through your nose, back to our imagination again, when we, when we know we should really sit still and breathe a couple times, and for some reason, it just feels a little hard to do, I invite you to imagine your very favorite smell. So what's your favorite smell? Everybody has their own, or maybe they have a lot. It could be something yummy that you smell uh, that could be cooking, whatever, something in the oven. It's just making the house smell so good. Perhaps for you, your favorite smell is the, the smell of the grass when it's freshly cut or the smell of the saltiness when you're down at the beach. Even some of our favorite people have a nice smell. Maybe it's their cologne or their shampoo or their something. And that smell reminds you of that wonderful person. For me, for right now, since I haven't had lunch yet, I'm going to pick pizza. My goodness, do I love pizza. Maybe you do. So when you're not sure you really want to focus on breathing, this is a great thing to do to make it feel really good. So all you do, you just sit still and you imagine, maybe you can see it in your imagination, that thing in the oven or that person who smells wonderful or even a crackling fireplace, that nice smell of the wood, whatever your favorite smell is, just sit still and smell it. 
breathing that beautiful smell, sniffing that beautiful smell into your nose. And as it comes into your body, it kind of gives you a hug from the inside, like a cozy feeling. Give that a try. That'd be fun. And maybe get some of the grown-ups in your life to join you. Please remember that everyone of every age can enjoy these things together or on their own. So before I leave you, my dear friends, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this. I received this beautiful gift in the mail. I hope you can see that nice and clearly. A very special person whose name is Grayson made this piece of art for me and I was so thrilled to receive it. So thank you, Grayson. You inspired today's visit and all the things we talked about today. And I'm so happy you chose to share your artwork with me. So happy about that. I want to say also a little thank you to Aunt Stephanie and to Grayson's mom who saw to it, helped Grayson get this piece of art to me. And I love it. It's been on the fridge in my home, but I had to bring it here into this room so I could show everyone. My friends, I am so delighted week after week to come and spend time with you. If anything that I've said or shared helped you, you enjoyed it, go ahead and share it with someone else. That's why I do these um, visits. That's why we have these visits so that I can share these things. I think they're gifts. If they felt like gifts to you, like this was a gift to me, please feel free to share this far and wide for everyone of every age. I wish you peace and love and a happy Halloween to you and to everyone. And I'm already looking forward to seeing you next week. So my friends, Bye for now, take good care, and happy Halloween!